In this video, I shall show you how to obtain the range for a multi-engine piston aircraft, or MEP-1. We shall be using section 3 for the multi-engine piston. What you see here is figure 3.2 for obtaining range. Now take note that the range provided here is for still air. So this is not considering wind. If we want to obtain the wind adjusted range, then we would need uh, true airspeed as well as the ground speed. And true airspeed can be obtained from figure 3.4. And that is this chart over here on MAP section 3, page 6. But we shall not look at this figure yet. We shall first determine what the still air range is. And I'm going to show you how to do that. In order to figure out what our still air range is, we first need to know which altitude we plan to cruise at. And then we need to know what our power setting is going to be. For example, I've got altitudes 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, and to get the values in between, well, you'll have to count the squares for the altitude that you'd want. Then we have various power settings, 75%, 65%, 55%, and 45%. This chart is divided into two sections. The first section on the left gives us range with 45 minutes reserve. If we flew an aircraft this range, we'd have enough fuel to last another 45 minutes. So it's distance plus 45 minutes of flight time at long range cruise. In our example, we are going to assume that our multi-engine piston aeroplane will cruise at 10,000 feet with a power setting of 55%. So the first step we do is we're going to mark out a guideline for 10,000 feet. And that would look something like this. So we've got a line drawn across the entire chart for 10,000 feet. Now we said we're going to cruise at 55% power. So we'll follow this line across until we reach 55%. And then where our 10,000 feet line intersects 55%, we'll draw a straight line right down to the range scale to read off our range with 45 minutes of reserve. And it should look something like this. Reading off the range scale at the bottom, we'll see that our still air range at 10,000 feet with a power setting of 55%, our range is 850, 860 nautical miles. And that gives us 860 nautical miles with 45 minutes reserve at 45% power. Now, you might be thinking that, well, we've got a power setting of 55%. Why is the reserve at 45% power? And the reason the reserve is at 45% power is that this is actually long range cruise. So regardless of the power setting, whether we went high speed cruise 75% or 45%, the reserve fuel will always be set at 45 minutes at 45% power. So do take note of that. Okay, the reserve is not for the initial power setting. Now, supposing we want to find the absolute maximum range that we can fly and utilizing all our reserve, we will have to follow the chart across to the right hand side where we have range with no reserve. And this basically means that if you hit that range, you will have nothing left in tanks. Let's do that for our 55% power setting. And it should look something like this. 
Our range cruising at 10,000 feet with a power setting of 55% gets us a range of 950, 60, 70, 970 nautical miles, after which we will have no more reserve fuel. A reminder that these ranges are for still air. A point to note is that this range includes climb and descent distances. This is from takeoff to landing. And the range increases by approximately one nautical mile for each degree Celsius above ISA and decreases by one nautical mile for each degree below ISA. So you might have to determine what the ISA at various cruise levels is in order to make the adjustment for your flight planning. And that's how we use the figure 3.2 range at standard temperature chart.